Good afternoon, Connor kiddos. Um, I went over to the school this morning and I recorded the video of Facebook Live with Miss Aubrey. It was very fun. But when I got home, I was um, trying to save it to the file and it was so quiet. I couldn't hear anything. So <clears throat> I'm re-recording it plus because I have to say, and you have to hear this part, it's my dad's birthday today. So happy birthday to my dad. Come here, Kate. You want to say happy birthday to Gigi? Say hi to Kate. Happy birthday, Gigi. I love you. Okay, so I wanted to reread this story. Plus, it's about a dog. And really, your dog should be in the presence of a story about a dog, right? Okay, Old Mother Hubbard. And I love this book because this book was written like in the 1800s, but then Tommy DePaula, remember I read you Now One Foot, Now the Other, the really sad story. And um, so he took this book and he drew the illustrations for it and it makes it really fun. But remember on the inside, there's little tiny pictures. <laughs> she's, she's very involved today. Um, of different nursery rhymes that all um, have little pictures in them. Uh, we'll point them out at the end of the story to see if you can figure out which nursery rhyme it is just by looking at the pictures. Okay, are you going to be a part of this the whole time? Okay. Are you going to lick me the whole time? Here's the first picture. If Kate will move. Here we go. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone, but when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread. But when she got back, the dog, the poor dog was dead. Do you hear something? Go see. Go see what it is. Go see. Okay. Now, look right here. See these four little pictures? Which nursery rhyme do you think that is? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and came tumbling down and Jill came tumbling after. Okay, so that's how it works. Within a story, there's another story. Okay. <clears throat> she went to the undertakers to buy him a coffin. An undertaker is like a person when you die, they help bury you and comfort you. Okay. But when she came back, the poor dog was laughing. She went to the, oh, she took a clean dish to get him some tripe. That's like a, it's actually the inside lining, <laughs> the animal's stomach, and it's edible. You can eat it. But when she came back, he was smoking a pipe. She went to the fishmongers to buy him some fish. But when she came back, he was licking the dish. She went to the tavern for white, wine, and red. But when she came back, the dog stood on his head. She went to the fruiters to buy him some fruit. But when she came back, he was playing the flute. She went to the tailor's to buy him a coat. But when she came back, he was riding a goat. That was always my favorite page when, when I'd read it as a little, a little girl. She went to the hatter's to buy him a hat. But when she came back, he was feeding the cat. <laughs> she went to the barber's to buy him a wig. But when she came back, he was dancing a jig. She went to the cobbler's to buy him some shoes. But when she came back, he was reading the news. Do you know dogs have to wear glasses to read? She went to the seamstress to buy him some linen. But when she came back, the dog was a spinning. She went to the hosiers to buy him some hose, but when she came back, he was all dressed in his clothes. The 
dame made a curtsy, the dog made a bow. The dame said your servant, the dog said bow wow. Here's the last picture. So let's do, we'll go back super fast and see if you recognize every nursery room. We got Jack and Jill, what's this one? Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cow in the corn. Okay, so little boy blue. Can I this one? Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. This one is Mary Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver barrels and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. I remember I had to be Mistress Mary in fifth grade in a play that we did with all the nursery rhymes. So I got to be Mistress Mary and bring my watering can like I was pretending to water the flowers. So I always remember that poem. What's this one? Little Tom Horner, Little Jack Horner, Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I? If you don't know these nursery rhymes, I want you to go look them up and start reading. It's very good to know these. This one's easy. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. This one's a little tricky. This one's how, oh, how the north wind did blow. And this is the robin. What will the robin do? I don't really talk about that one very much. It's a good one we'll teach you. This one is a cat with a queen. This one's Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the queen. I like that one. There's a little boy talking to somebody, fishing. This one's Simple Simon met a pie man going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pie man. All right, I'm gonna have to, have to look it up again. Okay, old King Cole was a merry old soul. He, merry old soul was he, he called for his pipe, he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddler's three. That's a song too. Baba black sheep, happy and wool, yes sir, yes sir. Three bags full, oh wait, there it is, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Easy peasy one. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Everybody knows that one. Here's the last one. Wee Willie Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, calling to all the children, rapping at the door, are the children in the bed? For now it's 10 o'clock. I think that's how that one goes. It doesn't really rhyme at the end, but nursery rhymes. Those are good to know. The reason why they teach you those when you're really little is because it helps you develop sentences and putting words together because rhyme is usually the easiest way for kids to learn words and context. And so that's why Mr. Eddie teases me all the time and he's like, oh no. Here we go again with Mrs. Eddie and her rhyming like she's back in kindergarten. I still rhyme everything. He loves it. Okay, so happy birthday to my dad. I hope it's a wonderful day. Let me know when you get your present. Coming from Amazon. And um, tell me if you like it. And Kate, Kate, can you say goodbye? Come here, come here. Can you say goodbye, Gigi? Have a happy day. My dad, my kids call him Gigi, or Grandpa Guthrie. He really wanted to be called Fred. We don't know why. He didn't want to be called Grandpa, so we call him Gigi. But he's dad to me, and I love him, and I hope it's a wonderful day. So, okay, we'll see you tomorrow.